Your physician has prescribed a biocompression sequential circulator for your treatment. All of our pumps are designed for home or hospital use. This video will guide you through the setup of the four-chamber sequential circulator SC2004DL from start to finish. Always reference the instruction manual for a complete understanding of operations and precautions for your pump and garment. Let's get started. First, unpack your biocompression pump and take out all of the components. The carton and end caps should be saved for future transporting, shipping, or reuse. Make sure you have the following items in the box. A sequential circulator pump, blocker bar for use during single garment therapy, a power cord, an instruction guide. Your garments may have been shipped separately and are necessary for operation and treatment. Choose a location to set up your pump. Place the pump on a flat, sturdy surface in close proximity to a reclining chair, bed, or sofa where you will be comfortable during treatment. Attach the power cord to the back of the pump and then plug it into an outlet. These sequential circulators have LED indicators, LED display, up button, down button, set button, power button, play pause button, garment connector bar port, auxiliary connector bar port, shown with blocker bar. Leave the blocker bar in place to block airflow if you are treating only one limb. If you are treating two limbs, you won't need the blocker bar, but you should store it safely for future use. Now it's time to attach the garments. The Quick Connect system makes it easy to connect tubes from your garments to the pump. Line up the chamber numbers 1 through 4 on the latch connector with the corresponding numbers on the pump. With the numbers facing up, squeeze the clip and insert into the port. It's that easy. If you are using a second garment, attach the second connector with the corresponding numbers similarly. Wear light, loose-fitting clothing under the compression sleeves. This is both hygienic and will avoid irritation. Clothing should be free of zippers, buttons, or other items that could rub or chafe the skin or damage the sleeves. Avoid wearing jeans or constricting clothing. To don leg garments, carefully unzip it. Place your heel at the bottom and back and use the pull-up straps to guide the sleeve onto your leg. Then pull the zipper up to secure the garment. To don arm garments, slide your arm through the internal cavity of the sleeve. Make sure that your fingers are comfortably inside the sleeve. Your hand should be flat. Treatment time has been determined by your physician. And remember, if your doctor has prescribed bilateral treatment, you can do that simultaneously. To change pump settings or use focus therapy, begin with the pump turned off. Press and hold set button for five seconds. Setup will appear in LED display and pressure LED indicator will be lit. Use the up-down button to adjust pressure and press set button when finished. Set will appear in LED display and cycle time LED indicator will be lit. Use the up-down button to adjust cycle time and press set button when finished. Set will appear in the LED display and treatment time LED indicator will be lit. Use the up-down button to adjust treatment time. To set up continuous mode, press up button until LED display shows con. Press set button when finished. Set will appear in the LED display and the focus therapy LED indicator light will be lit. Use the up-down button to select chambers for focus therapy or select off to turn this therapy off. Press the set button when finished. Set will appear in the LED display and pump will turn off. Starting your treatment, sitting in a comfortable reclined position with your legs elevated and pump within your reach, press the power button on. The settings will appear on the LED display and the pump will start. To change the pressure setting on your pump while in use, with the pump running, press and hold the up arrow until you see hold. 
When the valve returns to its resting area, you will see set and then press. The pressure LED will then light up and you can change the pressure settings. Once done, hit set and the pump will start to inflate again at the new setting. Pausing treatment. If you need to pause during treatment, simply press the play pause button and pause will appear on the LED display. Hold will show on the display while the pump cycle prepares for deflation. When the word pause appears, you can remove the garment and take care of what you need to do. When you return, place your garment back on and resume treatment by pressing play pause again. The pump will continue to inflate. Once set, the pump will automatically inflate each chamber to the proper pressure. Sequential pumps with gradient pressure have proven to be the best devices for reducing the amount of excess fluid in a limb in a comfortable and efficient manner. Our pumps mimic the action of your own body by providing a pumping action from distal to proximal, allowing excess fluids to be reabsorbed by your body, thus providing reduced pain, improved lymphatic and vascular flow, wound healing, prevention of infection, effective prophylaxis for venous thrombosis, and reduced dynamic edema, all while improving your quality of life. At the end of a timed treatment, your pump will turn off. If using the pump in continuous mode, simply press the power button. Hold will show on the LED display, and then the pump will turn off. To expedite the deflation, simply bend your limb. Once the garment is loose enough, unzip and remove it. If you need to reset your pump back to factory settings, with the pump plugged in but turned off, press and hold the up, down, and set buttons together for five seconds. When the LED screen lights up, let go of the buttons and you will see the compliance meter hours lit up. Press the set button one time, the LED screen will turn off and your pump has been reset. Thank you for choosing BioCompression. We hope to improve your quality of life starting today. Should you have further questions, please contact your local provider.